Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this episode we are going to talk about exploring and iron and how to get all that stuff because we want iron. Iron is very important in Minecraft. So first things first, before I show you about exploring and, and why I have all these things here, let me show you something I did uh, very quickly. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make an axe real quick and be right back. And I'm back. So I didn't have to make an axe. I actually had one left over. So I'm going to use it here. So I uh, had this thing with cows, right? And I realized it was it was a little too small for all the cows I'm going to want. Right? I said, oh, no, it's too small. So here's a cool trick if you want to make a bigger area without, you know, letting your cows get loose. Is you go over here to this place. And I built a larger fence around it. You can see how I've, I've done that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here and get inside the fence like this. There we go. And I'm just going gonna to chop away this interior fence, this inner fence, which I no longer need. Excuse me. And the cows are going to kind of push each other around and get in my way because they're cows and that's what they do. Uh, but here we go. So just take care of this. And there you go. Now my cows have more room to walk around. And that's good. I'm going to put a little, little torch there. All right. And uh, now I have cows in there. Fantastic. All right, so now that we have cows, oh, I want to show you this too. So I got a, I got a little other sheep pen over here, right? I, ow, I went, uh, I went out here. I built another little, little fence, and this one is still maybe a little bit small, but I only have a few fences left. Well, actually, I've, I've got all those fences there, so I have more. All right, well, we'll, we'll deal with this later. In the meantime, look, I got this sheep. Now, is this Bufo? No, no, Bufo is, he's still, he's still over there somewhere. He turned out to be a more wily sheep than the rest. That happens sometimes. You you get some wheat and you try to lead sheep somewhere and if it's if you go too fast or you get too far away, they're like, wait a minute, I don't I don't think you're actually gonna give me that wheat, are you? You're just gonna where where are you taking me? So, you know, sometimes that happens. But this guy, he's like, Oh wheat? Yeah, I love wheat. It's so tasty and also so good for you. And so now he now he lives here. So we're gonna keep him here, uh, where he'll be safe. So now, now that we've got all that out of the way, I've shown you my little farm and, you know, the sheep guy over there, uh, who I've not named yet. I guess, um, I don't know, Lenny. Okay, his name is Lenny now. So we're going we're gonna to leave Lenny over there, and I'll, I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to come back over here in my base, and I'm just going to show you some stuff we want to make. Now, I haven't organized these chests yet, so they're getting kind of full, but we'll, we'll deal, with that, deal with that later. Do I, why do I have that? I don't need that. All right. So let's let's go over what I have in my inventory, and this is this is all in preparation for going exploring on an adventure. All right, these are all the things I want to have. So first thing, uh, I've got these sticks here and these sticks. I have them in separate stacks so I can demonstrate what I'm using them for. And here we have some more coal and some more coal, and this is some cobblestone and there's a lot of leather because while while we were gone. I, uh, I went out there and got a lot more cows, and they had a lot of leather, so that's that's quite a lot of leather. And, you know, some, some more wood in two stacks. I'm going to show you why. And also, look at all this food we have, and some dirt, some torches, some tools, and, you know, a sword. So so that's nice. You'll want a sword. Remember how to make a sword? Uh, let me show you that real quick. So, like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Like that. That's how you make a sword, right? Uh, we don't need that sword right now, so we're not going to use it. But remember also how to make a pick because I have some of those as well. Remember that? It's a pick. Okay, so we don't need that right now either. Uh, but what we do need to do is we want to make some some better stuff so we'll be safe when we get out into the caves. So there's a few things you want to take with you. So you want torches, but you probably want a lot more torches than that because you're going underground. So you take these and you make those. Now remember, it's times four, right? So 10 torches times four is 40 torches. Boom, 40 plus 12 is 52. That's a lot of torches. That's a good number of torches. So let's see, I've got a sword. I've got a pick. I have a spare pick for later. I've got a bunch of torches. I have this dirt. And I'll tell you why we need that in a second. I've got all this food. Now, that's way more food than I need. So remember, in Minecraft, you don't want to take everything with you. So I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to put some of that food away for later. And now you're saying, well, why do you have this extra coal? Well, I'll show you. Because I have this still in the, in the oven right and we're going to go exploring so a good thing to do while exploring is just put this in there so it cooks while we're out when we get back we have more all right okay so what are we doing now with this you're saying what's what's with all this leather well i'll show you leather with leather we can make 
basic armor, right? We want armor because it protects us. So we put this in here like this. See this shape here? That's kind of like a shirt. Like that's where your neck goes and your arms will go out here a little bit. There's the bottom of the shirt and it's your legs on this area. All right, so here you go. Leather tunic. That's nice. We want that. And we take these and we make this shape. And what are these? Pants, right? Now, as a note, if we did this, we'd make a hat. That's a leather helmet, okay? And if instead we did this, we would make some boots. But we don't, we don't want boots. We want some pants, with some leather pants. So we're going to take those. And once you have those, you can put them, there you go, right here, for your pants. There's my pants. And take this, put on. That's my tunic. Boom. There you go. Look at me. Now I'm wearing, I'm wearing leather. Okay, good for me. So we have leather. That's good. And we have all this other stuff. And what's this for? Well, we're going exploring. So in case we're going a long time, we want another, cra another crafting table in case we need to build stuff while we're down there. And in case we're down a really long time and it gets kind of risky and dangerous, we want to have this with us. Now, why do we have a chest? Well, we have a chest because what if we get really deep underground and we've got a lot of good stuff with us? Well, we put this somewhere. We put all the stuff in the chest and that'll, that'll keep it safe. So we have some extra stone and we have some extra dirt in case we need to build bridges or anything while we're down there. So let's take that and put that there. All right, and these sticks, these are extra sticks just in case we find more coal and we need, we need some more torches or if we're down there we need to make another pick. We, we just have those. We keep those extra sticks. Okay, so now we have just about everything we need before we go exploring. And I like to put things in this order right here. I like a sword up front because there's going to be lots of monsters underground. And a pick so I can switch back and forth quickly. And the torches, which are very good. So we're going to need to now figure out where the caves are. Alright, so the sun is still in the sky. So let's Let's explore a little bit, all right? Not not too much, because it's going to be night soon. We want to come back here at night time. So all right, let's take a look around. So we went over here earlier, and that that doesn't go anywhere. So and we could go we could go over this way if we want. We could go over that way. But there's a lot of hills over there, and that's you know harder to explore because you have to jump up and down. A lot of trees, so that's cool. And that's now well, it's kind of boring. And so let's see, let's see what's over here. Now I took a look over this hill, and I saw something cool, so I want to show you. So we're gonna walk, we're gonna walk over here, right? And here's a, a handy trick, all right? When you're going exploring, you want to leave some torches. So I can see my base, but I'll put a torch right there, all right? So I'm gonna make a path of torches, a trail, so I I know where I've been and where I'm going, and it's good when you place these. So make sure you can you can see see that torch bar up there. You can see the previous one from the new one, right? So that when you're out here and it's getting dark and you're like, oh man, where am I gonna go? You're like, oh here's a torch. Oh good, and you can see the next one. Oh there we go, and you know where to go. So let's take a look around here. So we are just walking around and exploring, and torch is still there. So we're gonna we're gonna jump down here. This will be that's that's pretty good. We'll see the light from it when it gets dark. So that. Now here we go. See this? That there's a hole in the ground. Wow, it's pretty deep too. Now let's let's take a look. Now we want to go underground because that's where we're gonna find iron, right? Iron is almost always underground a bit. And we look look in there and I don't know if you can see it. I can see it on my screen. Very faintly I can see iron out there. Don't worry, we're gonna Oh, there's a skeleton. There's a skeleton too. Well he can't he can't get me from down that far. So what we need to do is find out how to get in here safely. Oh, man, I'm here. I'm going to mark this. We know where it is. I'm going to get back home. So I'm going to follow this path of torches over here. I'm going to make another one there so it's a little more bright. And uh, equip my sword in case I meet any monsters on the way. I uh, hope I don't. It's still, it's still kind of early. All right. So... Hi, hi, Lenny. How are you? Okay, so he's safe in there. Uh, you should know monsters. Monsters don't want animals. They they won't they won't attack animals. They just they just want you. So your animals are safe. That's good to know. All right. So the moon is up. There we go. Door. Uh, close it. Get some sleep. Okay. So while we were gone, we see the rest of our beef cooked. So that was cool. We didn't have to wait around for that. But it's a bright new day. We just went to bed as soon as the sun went down, so there's probably no monsters around. Let's take a well, there's a zombie way out there. Okay, let's let's take a look around though. 
Okay, nothing, nothing in between us and where we were. All right, so we found, we found a hole in the ground which leads to a cave. All right, so let's let's go explore and let's see if we can figure out another way to get in there. All right, let's see. So we follow the trail of torches back. A little harder to see in the daylight, right? Because there's already so much light from the sun. But let's take a look over here. All right, so there it is. We left a torch or two to mark it. So let's let's take a look around. In fact, to make this easier, I'm gonna knock away some grass so we can see this hole coming from from farther away. We don't want to accidentally walk in there because we'll fall, and that'll really hurt. And even though we're wearing armor, see this bar down here? That shows how much armor we have. It's not very much armor, but even though we have armor, that would still hurt us very much, and it might we might die. Oh, like a skeleton over there. So he, oh wow, there's all sorts of stuff on there. He can see me. He can't get to me. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's take a look around. So there's some hole in the ground. Maybe, maybe that loops around. Let's take a quick look around. Um, all right. Ugh. There are some sand, some sandstone, some coal next to that cow. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, that's a that's a pretty big hole. Hey, Mr. Cow. Seems to go down pretty deep. Okay, so that's some coal there. We'll want that eventually. Let's take a look over here. Um, okay, that goes underground. Uh, let's see, and this, this goes underground. Now, I did something silly. I should have checked. Before you go down any hole, make sure there's a, there's a pathway to get back up. Now, you can always you can always make a new pathway. Remember that? You can always make a new pathway by digging some stone. Be like, oh, no, I need to get up there. And you, oh stuff out there. Uh, but, you know, just in case, in case you need to move quickly because there's monsters, you want to make sure there's a natural pathway that you can you can get back up. And if you can't, you can just, you know, just make one. So, while we're here, we're going to get this, this coal. Now, we're near caves, so we're going to be careful, right? Because creepers might come out of those caves. And remember that creepers don't, their footsteps don't make any sound, so you won't hear them coming until it's, until it's too late. Let's here, gonna knock this out of the way, too. Get some of this coal. That's good. And this is why we brought extra sticks, right? Now if we need to make more torches, we have some extra sticks and some extra coal, and we can do that. So let's let's see if we can find another way in. This this is all very possible, but it's kind of far away from where we want to be. So maybe that's ah, maybe that's not it. Ah, okay, look at this. I think this this is more likely, because our our pit is over there and this there's an opening. Let's take a look in here. Jumping up this way. All right. Looks promising. That's pretty dark. Yep, there's a creeper. It's pretty dark, so we're going to put this down. And we're going to, before we forget, we're going to go make a path. All right, we're going to make a path back to where our torches are so we can see them there. Okay, so now we remember where we, we were. And we take a look around. See, let's see what we see. Wow. Okay, so, ooh, see that? That's iron. Now we'll deal with that in a second, but first we'll see if we can find a safe way to get down there. Oh, it's more iron. Oh, this is great. There's plenty of iron down here. It's also a creeper. So, remember, uh, monsters can't spawn where it's light. They can where it's dark. See how dark it is there? That's dark enough for him. This is too bright for him to spawn there. He can still walk in there, and he will, but it's too bright for him to spawn there. So, let's see. I'm holding down my crouch button so I don't fall off the edge. All right, kind of reaching out as far as I can go. I'm going to put this torch, if I can reach, I can't reach there. Can I reach here? Yes, I can reach there. And that'll light it up a little bit. So what we want to do now is make a stairway to get down there. So we're going to, we're going to start digging. All right, so we do this, and here's a simple way to make a stairway. Go down one, walk down. Take this out, go down one more. All right, now still no, no monsters yet, and we're almost to the floor. So this is good. All right. So, this is an important thing we're going to do here, all right? Uh, this is so we don't get lost. So, just like outside, we're going to leave torches to remind us. See, I, oh, yes, here's a torch. Ah, oh, good, there's the one, other one, so I know where to go. All right, so explore. There's no monsters right here. This is a nice safe ledge we're up on. Oh, wow, see, there's the there's the hole. There's the iron we found. There's a lot of coal over there, and that's good. Whoa, whoa, ow. Oh, man, oh, no, do you hear that? It's a creeper... Oh, he's still, oh dear, see, I got, I got careless, and he snuck up on me. Get back, get back. Um, dash, get back. 
Okay, and I remember dashing is really important because it makes him fly farther back when you hit him. Okay, see, I got him that time. That's how I can. See, that was silly. I was talking to you and I wasn't paying attention, and he snuck up on me. Remember how I said Minecraft is a game where you always have to be at least a little careful? Well, I was not being at all careful, and he almost got me. And I, I was lucky because I fell. I was like, ah, oh, and I panicked, and I fell down here, and it hurt me. See how it hurt me with two and a half hearts there? And I'm, I'm already hungry, so I'm not healing. So let's get some steak in me. Okay, so that's good. So we ate steak. All right, so let's let's look around while we heal up. Let's see, is this? Oh, look, that's a cave opening. So let's put a little torch there. All right, we don't want to go in there yet. We have some iron here. We want to light it up a little bit more just to make sure it's safe. Now this is a natural stairway, so we're gonna put another torch there. Oh man, I'm very curious. I want to go exploring, but let's not be silly. All right, let's not be silly. First, we're gonna get this iron. Now we're gonna. This is how we do it, right? We're gonna dig, and we take a look around. Do we see any creepers? No. Okay, so that's good. Seems safe so far. We're gonna dig this away. Ooh, there's more iron under there. Remember, when you see iron or coal, there's probably more iron or coal next to them, right? So you want to dig around a little bit and see if you can find them. I'm still looking around for creepers. This is an important technique, right? You dig, dig, look, dig, dig, look until you're sure you're safe. Now, I'm feeling pretty confident uh, that this is safe now. I've lit that up, so I can probably see them coming if I look around. I'm going to get this. Now, be careful here, right? Be careful not to go too deep into the ground or uh, you might you might not be able to get back up so always make sure you have a stairway to get back up all right so I found some iron but now I still want to go exploring I see the sun is still up I'm very curious right I want to go exploring so here's what I do to be safe I put this chest down over here by the stairway all right and I'm gonna put this iron I found and this, this gun gunpowder from the creeper put that in there too so all right so those things are safe now so now I'm going to go exploring a little bit more. So where should we go? Well, let's see. Let's take some of this coal since we're here. That's pretty dark. huh? So, oh, look at that. It's a pit. So let's be very careful. Here's what we do. This is why we have dirt with us. All right, so we block that up. Right, that's safer now. And let's, let's very carefully just go a little bit further into this cave. Now here's here's something important. Right? I'm about to go around this, this corner, and I don't want to get lost. So well, actually this is not a great example because it flips right back around. So all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna light this up too. Alright, and we'll we'll I'll show you a better place for the example. In the meantime I'm gonna grab some coal right here. And then I'm gonna explore around and I might speed it up so you can just see how I go. We'll see. Grab some of this. Uh you know I can get more of it but I don't want to get it all right now. I don't need it so badly. Uh, that I need it all, so I'm going to leave some of that there for later, and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put the rest in this chest. All right, there we are. So let's see if we can explore a little bit further. Now we see a cave down there and a cave up there. So here's something important to think about. If you see a cave up there, you should probably go just investigate a little bit. All right, you're going to make a stairway up here just to make sure you can get up there. And you want to be you want to be careful, right? Ooh. Okay. This is this is good. So let's light that up. I think that just goes down to an empty corridor. Okay. So we'll leave that there. It's a dead end. And we're gonna just you know use this torch because I never remember to bring shovels because you know that's just that's just me. We're gonna carefully over here. Okay. Wow. It's another pit down. So we don't want to really go that way yet. Now look. Now I'm, I'm right here. I turn around. I can still see all my other torches. So that's that's good. You want to make sure you can see where you've where you've come from. All right. So now I lit this up and I went up top first because sometimes creepers will fall down on top of you. Right. So I like to be sure first that I've made all this this upper stuff safe. Okay. So now I made a stairway so I can walk back down. I can see the sun is still in the sky. I still have a little bit of time. Oh man, it's kind of dark here, so I'm going to put that torch so no monsters will show up there. Alright, I'm going to go down here because I'm, I'm curious and I always want to know 
what's around the next corner? And that, you know, that can be dangerous <laughs> because I can get trapped by monsters. Uh, let's see, is that... Ooh, more iron. And that seems to be a dead end. That's a little little cavity in the wall. Some water here. Now be careful. You step in this water, see how the water is flowing? If I step in this water... Oh, see how it moves me? Watch, I'm stepping it. Now it's moving me. Now, I have to be careful. I can swim, but it wants to push me into this pit. Um, making sure there's no creepers. Ah, uh-oh. So the sun is going down. Oh, well, now I have two choices. I'm underground. Alright, I'm already underground. And I've lit this area up pretty well, so I know most of it's safe. So I'm not going to go back out in the dark just yet. I'm going to instead I'm gonna take this iron I found. I'm going to grab that. Making sure there's no monsters. Alright. I'm going to go through here. See if there's more. Maybe there's more iron around? Yes, there is. Ooh, there's a, there's a lot more. Alright, so let's get, let's get some of this. Now remember, I'm still being careful. I'm still looking out for monsters. See that? That's that's kind of dark. Uh, I should be careful. Monsters might be able to show up there, so I'll keep checking. All right, let's see. How much of this iron can we get? Oh wow, there's uh, there's even more. Um, okay, I can see from here, so I'm pretty well defended. My back is to stone, so no monsters can sneak up on me. All right, stairway. Now here's another trick. Now this is dark, so I should light that up, but I don't want to waste the torches. Right, so instead I'll take some of this stone I've been digging up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lock it up like this. All right, now there's still space behind there, so monsters might spawn behind that wall, but that's fine. They can't get to me, so I don't mind. I don't mind if they if they spawn up there. So, all right, let's get this let's get this last piece of iron, and maybe we're gonna maybe we're gonna make a run home. We'll see. Still kind of dark over there, but I can I can see there's only one piece of iron there. I can see that, and it's still pretty dark, so, hmm, I want to be careful because monsters might be up there and they might fall down on us. So let's, let's get that last piece of coal there. Actually, wait, first let's, let's put a torch in here. Oh, wow, look at all that coal. That's a dead end, too. Ah, man, it's, yeah, I just want to get that coal. All right, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. It's a dead end. It's pretty safe. You hear all those monsters? Hear that? Like, That's a zombie. Now zombies are pretty slow, and you know they're not too dangerous, but you know they can uh, they can still get you. So you still want to be careful. There's a lot of coal here. Look at all this coal. Oh, and iron. There's even more iron. This is great. Okay, now keep looking. Put a little torch so I can see what I'm doing. All right, still good. More iron. Oh, wow, there's so much iron back here. So that's, wow, look at all that. There's a lot of it. Now, there you go. When you go underground, you start finding iron. And iron is a very important thing, especially in Minecraft. So let's, wow, man, a lot of coal here. So this is what we do, right? You go underground, and it's it's nighttime outside, right? But it's, it's relatively safe in here because I've lit it up, and I know what's around. I'm still gonna still gonna be careful. There could be stuff over there. I haven't lit that up yet. And this is kinda dark, so we should be careful of that. Alright. But I'm gonna go back in this little dead end. This is safe. So I can see from here, I can see the doorway, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna clear this out so I can still see you know over there. I'm gonna keep grabbing this. You hear that spider that that's a spider. So I'm gonna be careful of those because they can jump and they can they can get you too. Alright. Let's see. Now notice this pick I have, this is almost used up. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna switch it over here for now. Because I'll, I'll show you something cool you can do when you have two used used tools of the same kind. Alright, let's take a look around. We can see the sun is still down. Do that. Still a bunch of coal there. We lit up all that stuff. Right, let's let's take a look around. Wow, this is pretty dark. Let's put a little let's put a torch there. Alright, so we haven't gone too far and already we found a bunch of iron and a bunch of coal, so let's go back over here to the chest we made, and let's let's put all this stuff in there. All right, so that's that's pretty good. Now, something I like to do when I'm underground is just put a couple torches right where I came in, so I know where I came in. All right, and oh, I forgot to light this up. All right, so we're still underground. 
we've got a bunch of good stuff. We have a pathway and a stairway up and out. Some dead ends over there. We don't know what's through there yet. And we don't know what's what's down there. We know there's a lot more stuff through that. So what do we want to do? What do we want to do next? Well, that's a good question. So now if I had shears already, I would uh, I would have gotten some wool, I would have made a bed, and I would have brought the bed with me so I could just go to sleep somewhere down here in the cave. But I didn't, so now we are now we're down here. So I, I've come up with a plan. Here's what I'm gonna do. I have twenty two torches left. The sun is still down. I can I can see the sun is still down, so I'm going to I'm gonna finish exploring. I'm gonna spend a little more time down here. I'm gonna get the rest of that coal and I'll try to make the best of it. So, yeah, here we go. So, see this here, this water, making it kind of dangerous to go over there? I'm just gonna plug that up. And the water goes away. Now let's see. Let's see what's over here in this dark place over here. Look at that. It comes right back around here. So that's well, that's pretty cool. It loops all the way under and around to here. And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab this iron I saw. And I think you may have seen the sun has come up. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to grab the rest of this iron. We're going to go and grab the rest of our stuff from the chest. Jump down here. I'm going to create a little little doorway here so we can just get through there more easily if we decide to later. There we go. Get some more stone. See the sun is up. Go to the chest. I'm going to grab this stuff here. I'm going to leave this chest here for later in case we come back here, which we probably will. And let's uh, let's go back home and see what we can do with this iron. So, whoops, I keep jumping around there. Alright, so I've got the sword in case there's any monsters still around. I uh, see a spider over here. Now, now notice this. See this spider? He, uh, he's gonna be totally calm or docile during the day. See, he doesn't, he doesn't care. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, man, it's cool. Nice to see you. That's cool. Now, if it were dark, he'd be, he'd be trying to eat me. But in the sun, he's like, yeah, I got no problem with you. You seem fine, so... I'm gonna leave him alone. I could attack him, but then he'd he'd attack me back, and I don't I don't really want any part of that right now. So here we are going all the way back home. Okay, so we're back here. Ah, good. Our beef is finished cooking, and now we have all this iron ore. All right, now we can't use this the way it is. All right, we have to put it in a furnace, and we have to smelt it. Uh, that means we cook it until it becomes iron that we can use. So we watch this go for a little bit. All right, so I skipped ahead a bit because, you know, that was taking some time to cook, and I've cooked it, and I've got it all now. You see, I have 17 iron. So let's talk really quickly here, because this video is getting kind of long, about what we can do with iron. So you can make iron weapons, right? We talked about that a bit. Um, you can also make iron armor the same way you made leather armor, you know, the same patterns like this. And that's, that's nice. We're going to take that, actually. Iron armor is much, much better than leather armor. For instance, look at this. See my, my armor bar down here? That's with uh, that's with leather armor. So let's let's take a look what that does. So let's, let's take off let's take off these, and let's take off these. You can see I have no armor, and with this, look, I've got one and a half armor pieces. Well, all right, that's fine. How about this? Boom! Three armor pieces, twice as effective as this. It's even more effective than wearing these two things together, right? And once we put these on, ah, okay, now we're doing now we're doing much better. All right, so we have that. Uh, there's one other, well, there's several important things you can do uh, with iron, but right now we'll show you one more thing. You take two pieces of iron like this, you make a pair of shears. See that? Shears are cool. And, uh, oh, uh oh, we'll deal with this in one second. Shears are cool uh, because there's two things you can do with shears that you can't do with anything else. So let's go over here real quick to a uh, tree. And, you know, these are cool. These are leaves. And you're like, oh, those are nice. I wish I could use those. Well, you know, use a, use a shears on those. And look at those. Now I have actual leaves I can place if I want to. And that's fine. Uh, they're, 
they're, they're decorative. You know, they're not really good for anything other than than making your house look nice. But one other thing you can do with, with shears, which is their main purpose, is you use them on sheep, just like, just like in real life. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to right-click the sheep. Look at that, he dropped three wool. That's even better than I got when I was just smacking him with swords over there. So that's cool. Now, eventually, he will eat some grass. This is why I want this built around grass. He'll eat some grass, and the wool will come back. And you keep coming back and, you know, getting more wool. And if you get more sheep and you put them all in here and you, you feed them wheat to make even more sheep, then you can have all sorts of, of wool. And next episode, we'll go over some cool things you can do with wool. And uh, we're probably going to make this house look better because, honestly, it is, it is not nice looking. So we're going we're gonna to fix that. All right, so that's, that's it for today. Uh, we talked a bit about exploring in caves and mining for iron and all that good stuff and now he has some shears so we can shear our sheep here that's Lenny hi Lenny and so that's gonna be it for today so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you learned some important stuff and we'll be back soon to talk about making this look better alright later <laughs>